Welcome to NAB, my name is Ray Thompson and I am the Broadcast and Solutions Marketing Manager for Avid. Uh, and I'm here to talk to you today about what's new with Avid from a post perspective. So, first and foremost, uh, at IBC we made several new announcements around Media Composer. Uh, one of the big ones was uh, the addition of being able to do 360 degree uh, editing right within Media Composer uh, through our plugins. Um, and so that's one of the big announcements we made. We also announced Nexus Pro where we added SSD support where we could double the capacity uh, as well as increased performance to support things like high res uh, and high dynamic range editing all on the Media Composer. We also announced uh, DNX IV at IBC and that's one of the things that we're showing here which is a new I.O. Uh, system to get content into and out of the Media Composer which supports both IP as well as SDI. Um, and so those are some of the new uh, improvements that we've announced uh, for Media Composer. Of course, we announced Media Composer first back at NAB. Um, the number of downloads of Media Composer first continues to grow exponentially, so it's very exciting. Um, and we have a lot of people now who are upgrading uh, to Media Composer Pro. Um, so that was also a major sort of announcement. All the, all the features that are going into Media Composer are a direct result of our participation with the Avid Customer Association, which also continues to grow exponentially. So they're uh, driving the roadmap in terms of features, not only the, the features we're putting into the product, but also the priority of those features. So we're leveraging our artist community uh, in a way that allows us to sort of deliver what they need uh, as a direct feedback, not only what's going on in the market, from things like IP production uh, and distribution to social media platforms and the importance of OTT, but all the feedback directly from those users that we have in the artist community. So if you're not in the artist community, you should definitely uh, consider participating because you are going to have a direct voice into what we're doing from a roadmap perspective going forward. All right, so if you want to learn more information about all the new features either in Media Composer, on Nexus, or Nexus Pro, or if you want to learn anything more about DNX IV, please go to avid.com. Uh, to the product section and you'll be able to find all your answers there. You'll have PDFs and more information available. So please, avid.com.